Hey guys, I'm Tom Court, and in this clip, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily roll the click bar. So the first step is to slide the sliding stopper to the top of the D power line, and then slide the D power line fully through your bar. Once you've done that, you get one of your outside lines and your two inside lines and roll them both around one end of the bar. Then you get your other outside line and then continue to roll the bar straight. If you roll the lines with a twist and somebody else undoes your lines in a different way, you can often end up with a tangle. So if you roll them straight, this is a good way to get on the water quickly. Then when you get to the end of the line lengths, you want to use the elastic toggles that are in the EVA floaters in your click bar and pull them over the end. This will stop the lines from undoing themselves and becoming tangled when in storage. Do the same on the other side of the bar. And there you go, that is how to properly roll your click bar. It's important after each session to give it a thorough rinse with fresh water and make sure all of the mechanisms inside are working correctly.